Yes, sir, bros. This is going to be the season premiere, series premiere, whichever way you want to put it, of Woke Western Woman Will Ruin Sports. Because let's be honest and let's be real, from journalists to athletes, we see it happening on a day to day basis. Feminazis and woke bozos are ruining sports. They're making it less enjoyable. They're taking the competitive nature out of the game. Literally, bro. It's getting watered down to the point that you just want to watch highlights. You can't even put it on ESPN anymore and let it sit from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can't do that anymore. Those days are over because you might be liable to hear some bullshit that'll make you turn the TV off. In this case, we're dealing with Naomi Osaka. It's pretty pathetic what's going on with Naomi Osaka because she's becoming a perpetual victimhood chick, bro. And it's pretty pathetic. A lot of people, whether they know it or not, willfully or unwillingly, they are becoming a perpetual victimhood chick because they are getting high off of becoming a victim. Anything is so easy to become outraged over because you're looking for sympathy and you're pushing the responsibility of yourself on others. That's where you have to draw the line in the sand. Naomi Osaka is a winner, bro. But at heart and at mind, she is a loser, bro. She got her ass spanked in this tennis match instead of us celebrating the winner, the victor. We're basically having a story about the loser because she got heckled by one person. And to make it even worse, the heckler was a woman. You mean to tell me that you lost your mind because of a because of one person who happened to be a woman? This is the first time I'm hearing about this in my whole entire life of spectating sports, bro. That somebody lost their cool over a woman heckler, not to be sexist, but it sounds like a big joke. I've never heard it in my life. A woman yelled, you suck and you lost your mind, bro. Let's be real. What's the difference between Naomi Osaka and Russell Westbrook? What's going on here? To the point that you want to stop the middle, you want to stop in the middle of a tennis match and grab the mic to address the crowd? How entitled can you possibly feel? This is what happens with all of these Western woke women and then the sickness is trickling down all across the globe to where everybody feels like they're entitled for every situation, every outcome to go in their favor. When Naomi Osaka hit the scene, she was a sympathetic figure because she beat her idol, Serena Williams. Everybody was in it all. Everybody was like, this young, this young lady has a bright future. Fast forward to now, everybody is like, Naomi Osaka, she has to go home. She needs to find a new profession. She needs to do something that she loves. She doesn't have the passion to become the professional athlete that everybody envisioned her to become come and you know part of the blame of that is that she basically took a sip of the woke sauce she wanted to be an activist talk about blm mental health and all of that good stuff right well you need to focus on your mental health because you're not there you're not playing with the full deck and it's evident everybody wants to get high off of moral righteousness they everybody wants to get outraged over the smallest things we don't understand this hecklers fanatics they're part of the game they are what makes the game the game whether it's tennis whether it's basketball football whatever it is these hecklers haters they envy the athletes they want to be the athletes and if you acknowledge them in the way that they want they won you lost the way that you get at a heckler is you heckle them Go back to when Reggie Miller was heckling Spike Lee, the number one Knicks fan, with his hands on his throat talking about the Knicks choked. You do not show the heckler or the antagonizer that you are weak in the mind because you lost. You battle the heckler by saying, OK, you want to talk shit? I got something for you. You don't cry, but let's check it out. We're going to turn now to tennis star Naomi Osaka. She spoke to the crowd after a tough loss over the weekend getting tearful over being heckled. As you know, she's been very open about her mental health journey. Janae Norman here with the details. Good morning, Janae. Hey, good morning, George. It is unusual to hear from the losing player after a tennis match. It's something that's rarely done, but despite... How entitled can you be to be a loser in a match and you basically make it all about yourself because of one person in a crowd of 10,000, bro? Emotional Naomi Osaka decided to speak up as she has before, bringing the conversation back to the issues of athletes and mental health. 
I feel like I've cried enough on camera, but oh. The four-time major champion and former world number one tennis player in tears. I just wanted to say thank you and um, congratulations. Naomi Osaka taking the mic after her second round loss to Veronica. Instead of us talking about this young woman right here who spanked Naomi Osaka, we have a segment on Good Morning America, ESPN, TMZ, whatever media outlet talking about Naomi Osaka crying over a heckler. Not this woman who nobody knows who spanked Naomi Osaka, the former number one player of the world. We're talking about shedding tears over a heckler. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Motiva at the Indian Wells Masters, the 24 year old requesting to address the crowd after being heckled by a spectator in the stands. Right there, listen again. <laughs> I mean, bro, who is gonna take a woman heckler serious, bro? Let's be honest and let's be real, bro. Naomi, you're supposed to laugh at that. Can you imagine what Bill Russell, Jackie Robinson, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, MJ, the list goes on on athletes that dealt with bullshit from fans who are fanatics, who are envious of you. They want to be you. They look at you as an idol, a god. That's why they pay their money to go there to get your attention. But these bozos just do not seem to understand that. Visibly upset Osaka asking the chair umpire to have the heckler removed, but the umpire rejecting her request. And I don't know why, but like it, it went into my head and I, it got replayed a lot. Osaka saying the setting reminded her of Serena Williams playing there in 2001. The crowd booing as Richard and Venus Williams watched her play. An incident the family calls traumatic. You cannot compare what happened to Serena Williams her father and Venus Williams to one person saying you suck to a whole stadium booing you. You cannot compare that. And in 2001, do you really want to compare the hecklers, the fanatics to now in 2022 to all of the virtue signals, the wokeism, all of the bullshit that people are getting tired of? Yeah, right. Believes was racist. Both players boycotting the tournament for more than a decade. I'm trying not to cry. The 24 year old, who's been open about her mental health struggles with anxiety and, quote, long bouts of depression, even stepping back from the spotlight, withdrawing from last year's French Open after opting not to do media interviews against tournament rules. I honestly don't know when I'm going to play my next tennis match. <laughs> Sorry. And taking off. It's pretty evident that Naomi Osaka has a weak team around her, bro. She has a weak publicist, a weak PR squad. They are not helping her, putting her in the limelight like this. If she is, it's pretty evident, bro, that she has mental health issues, bro. She has a high level of anxiety because you're battling that when you basically have the adversity that you gotta fight for, that you gotta fight through, bro. That's the love. That's the game of sports competing at a high level, bro. You have to fight through adversity, bro. That's why so many people love sports, professional athletes, because they're like, damn, how could this person make a free throw with all of these crowd, with all of the fans booing at him, talking smack? But then you got LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, and Russell Westbrook pointing to security to get this fan out of the stadium. Could you imagine Michael Jordan doing that? month break from tennis but it's been a rocky return for the now 78th ranked osaka to kind of stop and assess where she is i think it was a very smart move for her there's so much we can learn from what some of these athletes are going through and hopefully to the point that they what can we actually learn besides they're weak in the mental bro what can we obviously learn besides sports is getting watered down? The athletes are basically in the participation trophy era to where they feel like they're entitled for everything to go their way. I'm never in support of people getting rewarded for just showing up. <laughs> How could you give somebody a trophy just for showing up? You're not in third place. You're not in second place. You just had a team and you showed up. Good job. We're in that era, bro. We're in this era to where the rise of the perpetual victimhood chick is at an all-time high. How many times are we turning on the TV, you're flipping up your phone or whatever it is, and you're seeing another victim? It's getting tired. It's getting old. I have to go through it again. 
And of course, there are many who say the pressure and hecklers are all part of the game. There are many aspects of life where controlling your mind, dealing with the mental part of it is a big part of it. I think we can all agree we're watching a 24-year-old struggle with how to handle all of that. Right. We've seen plenty of 24-year-olds and even younger than that. And we're talking about tennis here, bruh. We're talking about tennis. I'm not diminishing tennis at all. But tennis, the hecklers in tennis don't compare to the other sports at all. 24 years old? Does that make it an excuse? She's supposed to be ready for this. She's not ready at all. She needs to step away from the game and come back when she's mentally prepared. Neither here nor there. It's enough of that, man. I'm getting tired of these woke women ruining sports from journalists to the athletes is getting tired. And it's going to become boy cried wolf to where people are basically going to turn a blind eye because they're getting tired of hearing this bullshit because it's weak. I'm not bashing her. Not at all. But what she's doing is influencing the younger generation, aspiring tennis players to throw temper tantrums when things don't go their way. What happens when this young girl, her serve hits the net? Is she going to cry about it? She's going to pout? No, you don't do that. You suck it up and you step your game up to make sure that it does not happen. It's enough of that, though. I'm out.